wasn't long ago that there were a lot of Democrats who were pro-Second Amendment. That's not the case anymore. And the 2020 Democrats running for president are proving it. On her Facebook page, Senator Kamala Harris of California recently posted an image of an AR-15 rifle, warned that guns killed 40,000 Americans in 2017. What she didn't say, dishonestly, is that at least three quarters of those deaths were suicides, and of the remainder, most of them were drug or gang related. Given Harris's stance on the border, she doesn't seem to want less of that. Of course, she's not against suicide either. They're all for that. Meanwhile, Senator Cory Booker has unveiled a sweeping proposal that would require a special license to own any gun at all. You would need Cory Booker's permission to exercise your constitutional right. And of course, you know what comes next, bans and confiscation. Booker's already suggested he's open to banning all guns, period. Would you ban guns? Uh, I am uh, very uh, much one that is against uh, uh, handguns. Uh, and I know in my urban uh, environment, uh, I see little to no need for uh, guns uh, at all. And I would if, uh, if I had the power to do so. I would. It was 19 years ago. Hasn't changed his views. Ryan Kleckner is a former military sniper, firearms attorney, and columnist for The Federalist. He joins us tonight. Ryan, thanks very much for coming on. Thanks. Thanks so for having me on again, Tucker. I'm going to ask you questions about the point of view of these different candidates, but I all think right. we all know that basically they're all for gun confiscation. They're not hardly hiding it. <laughs> My question is a bigger one for you. I, just, I can't resist. What would happen if they tried that? What would happen to the country? How reckless a move would that be? And it's sincere, wow. Seriously. I didn't expect that question. Yeah, that would be incredibly reckless. I'm actually more shocked that they're coming out and saying it now because we've heard so long, we're not coming to take your guns. Don't worry about us. We're not coming to yes. take your guns. And now we're actually hearing comments like they'd give us a reasonable amount of time to turn our guns in before they put us in jail. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of hearing, oh, it's modern America. What do you need a gun for? The government's not going to hurt you. Now, turn in that gun before I make the government come and forcibly take it from you. Exactly. Or they call it a buyback, which suggests that they right. owned it in the first place. How is it a buyback? They never That's owned interesting my guns. point. Yeah, they sure didn't. Yeah, so in, in a weird way, I'll say something unexpected. I applaud that they want to do something about gun violence. That's sure. good. We all should want to do something. Well, Matter of fact, we should all want to do something about all violence. See, that's the problem. They focus on gun violence because it's a political talking point for them. I mean, Kamala Harris's tweet had a picture of an AR-15 in there, and we know that a tiny, tiny fraction of all gun violence happens with any rifle, let alone an AR-15. I mean, the FBI stats show that hammers are used in more violent crimes than any type of rifle. I think they have something in for this firearm, and although they want to help school safety, I get it. By focusing on banning guns, not only the gun bans not work, but they make us less safe. You, you want to guarantee a place is going to have a shooting? Make it gun-free. Places where but, guns are allowed aren't attacked like this. But they would never make their own offices gun-free under any circumstances. I mean, they're surrounded by armed bodyguards. Absolutely right. Uh, the same thing as they're surrounded by fences and walls when they call for no wall. It, it's a very hypocritical point. Absolutely. Uh, I'm very surprised to hear that they're coming out. I mean, Eric Swalwell and Cory Booker are actually trying to play a game of one-upsmanship here on who can infringe on more rights. When I mean, we're calling for IDs, for permission to get a gun, aren't these the same people that are against IDs for voting? It just makes no sense. Uh, I have trouble believing that many people would, would obey, honestly. But, you know. You know, I hope we never find out. Ryan Collector, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me on again.